Hey guys, it's Magda. Welcome back to my channel. My goodness, this feels so foreign. I can't, I looked back on our body challenges. I can't believe that it's been five days, six days since I last had an exercise video. And that's not to say that I didn't exercise in the last six days because I've still been going to, on my walks and doing the elliptical. I just felt like I really needed a break. I couldn't perform in front of a camera. Not that I do a performance for you guys, but even this little like talk that I have with you guys, I wasn't capable of doing it. I just couldn't put myself in front of a camera. Um, when I go through stuff in life, like everybody goes through stuff in life, I retreat and I want to be by myself kind of to process stuff. And I think I've done enough of that now. Uh, today is, yesterday I kind of started my comeback. And today I feel much better. Today was a much more positive day. Yesterday was okay, but today was much better. And um, we're just going to get ourselves back on track. And it's, it's been only five or six days. I'm sure I've lost a little bit of strength in that time, a little bit of flexibility. Maybe not. Maybe not. Um, but we're going to get back to business and we're going to get back whatever we may have lost. We're going to get back. So today, unfortunately, we're skipping from day six to day 12 body challenge because I have a certain day 30 set in my head for a reason. Um, I told you guys we're getting to that reason. So today is going to be day 12. And because it's been so long in between challenges, it didn't really matter what challenge I chose today, whether it was chest, back or legs. So I chose chest because it's kind of just like get through it mechanical. There's only so many chest exercises in between. We're doing our push-up practice still, um, a couple sit-ups, and it's not a big deal. I didn't have to put too much thought into it. I'm trying to um, kind of take it easy on myself as far as putting pressure on myself. Um, I really need to just be thinking about a lot of things right now and figuring things out. And when you live with depression and anxiety, trying to think your way out of situations is not easy um some easy situation that might be so plain and simple for somebody um else is not so simple for me so i'm trying to just keep things simple stupid as they say that's stupid saying keep it simple stupid um so that's what i'm gonna do um for today anyway we'll see how tomorrow goes but let me show you guys what we're doing today so skipping forward day 12 body challenge chest day and we're going to get right into it. By the way, today is Sunday. I always feel so thrown off because I never used to work weekends. So weekends are like, now I feel like I'm in the middle of my work week. Um, but Friday, I never went to get any scratch tickets. So I think we're going to do that tomorrow because tomorrow after work is my night off because I have Tuesday off. So we should, we'll do scratch tickets tomorrow. We'll make it part of our evening workout routine. Um, that evening workout routine. I still would like to keep it on Fridays. I just didn't buy them this Friday. Um, so let's plan for tomorrow and we'll blend it in with our day 13 body challenge. So let me set you up. We're going to start with the bench press. Thank you for being here. I, I did miss being here so much. Um, I hate not being in front of the camera. I hate not talking to you guys, um, especially because I have made a promise and I try to check in with you guys anyway. Um, just a couple days I couldn't check in even for a drive or anything like that. So um, I'm going to get better about that because this is a promise I want to keep. I want to be here for you guys and with you guys. And I appreciate you guys and thank you for being here. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, good old bench press, guys. It is so warm and humid here today. And I want to take advantage of that. And I want to take advantage of the sunshine still. So I'm going to do this circuit with you guys. And then I'm going to go out for a walk with my bird because I want to enjoy part of this afternoon still. And then I'm going to come back and repeat this circuit four more times because it's a very straightforward circuit, very quick. Um, so I'm going to do it a total of five times tonight, um, but interrupted by a walk. I'm looking forward to it. I didn't even go on a walk yesterday. I felt so bad. Was it yesterday or the day before? No, I went the day before. I didn't go yesterday. Yesterday I did just some stuff around the house and my elliptical, which was good enough for the day. Oh, that was my elbow. 
I don't like hearing this time of year. I still hear the crickets so much at night, but I know in the next week or two, you know how they start dying off? I don't know if they die or if they go into hibernation mode or what, but every day you hear less and less crickets every single night. They're still very much um, alive out there, but I know that's not gonna be for much longer because um, it's starting to get chilly at night. But tonight feels like it's going to be a good night for them. Some bicep curls just for a little break for the chest. Yeah, I hate every night. It's like quieter and quieter and quieter when it gets cold outside and you just know what's coming for you. Although I love fall, I just can't stand the winter. But I am looking forward to fall. I want to look up when the um, peak colors are going to be um, in New England this year. You know how they can predict, or they do predict, the meteorologists or whatnot, they predict when the colors are going to be the best when. I'm going to look that up. It was so busy at work today. I got to tell you guys, I really dislike Sundays there. And both Sundays, I work every other Sunday. So that other Sunday that I don't work is even worse than the Sunday that I do work. Of the two Sundays, of the two every other Sundays, I work the better one. And the better one is so poorly staffed. Um, thank goodness I had two really strong aides with me today but we worked our butts off today. Our floor that we were on is so heavy right now, and I'm not complaining because the floor upstairs is even heavier, but they had an extra person. They had um, two nurses and two aides. Downstairs, they only had two aides and me. So we were hustling today, but everything went great. And the end, end of the shift came as it always does. Oh more 15 pounds is heavy today man we were hustling today non-stop I ate my lunch at 2 10 p.m. at the nurses station <laughs> let me check what's next guys oh this is gonna be a moment of truth push-up practice Didn't crash, not yet. I feel like crashing. <laughs> My friend can't walk with me today. There's like seeds here. <laughs> I don't know how the bird seeds got all the way over here from over there, but they travel. <laughs> My friend can't walk with me today, so not that I asked her to come with me, of course. I asked her, are we walking? But um, she said she can't. Um, she's feeling a little under the weather. So I see that as a positive because I'll have some time to think about some more stuff. So that's actually okay today. Um, I'll meet up with her tomorrow. We'll walk together. Considering it's been five or six days of not doing this, um, I'm surprised we haven't crashed yet. <sighs> okay, we'll keep going with that. It wasn't too bad. I thought it'd be worse than that. Okay, um, push up practice. Flat dumbbell flies, so I'm gonna just keep moving you guys back and forth like this. What do we do use for dumbbell flies? I think we tried the 15 and we succeeded, so let's try it again, even though it's been a few days. I gotta get some protein in for dinner today. I, uh, I didn't get much protein in today. I only had half a protein shake. 
Did I have two eggs this morning? Yeah, I had two eggs this morning, so that was good. Oh. I'll have to have something proteiny for dinner, though. Eight, I think. Nine. Ten. Let's try two more. Eleven. Twelve. That's good. Very good. Not bad at all. Keep this up. We'll be back in business in no time, guys. Oh, some wood chops. I love the wood chops. This is one of my favorite exercises. Hold on. Okay, guys. 15 pounds. Mm. Nice and controlled. On my way home, I stopped at um, Walgreens because I needed just a few toiletries, and <clears throat> normally I would go for toiletries to uh, Walmart, but not on a weekend, guys. I've learned my lesson. One time I went up to Walmart on a Saturday afternoon, one time on a Sunday afternoon. Never again catch me dead, dead in a Walmart on a weekend. I think it's just the town that my Walmart is located in. It's just such a busy place, and it's so big. Um, forget about it on the weekend like everybody and their grandmother goes so I'm like no I'm gonna drive way out of my way and go to Walgreens and just get a couple toiletries that I totally needed and then my plan was to go next door um, to Whole Foods to pick up um, some cucumbers and some dill and a few more beets and I wanted to get a, a setup for a tabbouleh salad I wanted to get some fresh parsley and some bulgur. So I got to Walgreens and I had to go to the bathroom so bad. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. And I don't like to use public bathrooms. A little TMI, but unfortunately. So I went to Walgreens and got my toiletries and then I had to run home. Um, so I never got to Walmart, Walgreens, <sighs> Whole Foods. Um, but that will be tomorrow's, uh, tomorrow after work. So tomorrow we'll go to Whole Foods which is actually better because it's our night off. So we'll just leisurely go to Whole Foods and pick out what we need. And then um, I'll stop through my bank and then uh, we'll get a couple scratch tickets. So that's actually a better plan than trying to cram it into today because even going to Walgreens, which is very out of the way for me, um, um, it wasted a lot of time. I didn't get home until 4.15 p.m. even though I got out of work on time so it was kind of a wasted trip unfortunately but but I really needed the stuff that I got so um, that's okay it's okay tomorrow's a better plan we don't have to stress out and we don't have to hurry tomorrow I think I've been doing these for too long gabbing again gabbing gabbing one okay guys those feel good I love those although I think I have too much lotion on my hands because those that um, feel, feels a little slippery I should have put my gloves on all right another push-up practice guys all right Okay. Is 
long as it's a nice soft landing. I kind of value my face. <sighs> I did get a really nice compliment today. Usually you hear the complaints and you don't hear the compliments. Hold on. This stretch feels so good. Oh. Oh. Not bad, guys. Not bad. Um, incline bench press. All right, I'm going to pause you so I can set up the bench real quick. So my patient that I always speak to about everything... everything diet really not everything but I speak to him the most about stuff just stuff we know stuff we learned um, a lot of nutrition stuff that patient I'm not supposed to say he's my favorite patient so he's the patient I chat with a lot um, he saw how busy we all were you know and how hard we were all working and he said specifically to me he, he pulled me in at the end of the day and, and said, uh, I'm paraphrasing a little bit, but almost word for word, um, that he just wanted to thank me, even though that we're working short, there, you know, we're working short, the staff is working short, that I'm still there working and I spend the extra time with him. He said he always feels safe when I'm there and he really appreciates me. And I was like, you know, I really appreciate hearing that. I thanked him, you know, so much. It was, uh, it was very nice to hear on a very hectic day. It was nice to hear that he still felt care for, cared for and he still felt safe. That's all I care about. That, that's the only reason I'm there. So to make my patients feel that way. All right, that was an incline bench press. I wasn't counting, but I did as many as I could. But that was a very sweet compliment, and I just, it came at a very good time, like, when I was, like, running around like crazy. Very sweet. Oh, oh stretch a little. Ouch. And 12. Oh. oh, God. Oh, that's good. 12 sit-ups. It's going well, guys. I'm actually kind of happy. Incline, dumbbell flies. Okay. Um, I can't remember if we did 15 with these because these are harder. I think I'm going to start with 10 because I don't want to pull anything. The incline is just harder to do than the flat for some reason. Just the way that your body is positioned. Maybe tomorrow evening, I'll take you guys to Walmart with me, like late, like right before they close. So it's going to be like dead, 
we can do some vlogs at Walmart. <laughs> because I still need a few things, because I couldn't get everything at Walgreens. They're too expensive. So I just got like the bare necessities at Walgreens just to get me through until I get to Walmart. Okay. Oh, dumbbell pullovers. I like these. These are with a flat bench, though. All right. I'm going to move you guys just a tiny bit. That ottoman's got to go. I kept it only because I wasn't sure if I would need it one more time for the uh, push-up practice. I want to get to the last part of the push-up practice. I don't remember what it is. I think after that, that ottoman is going to go. I don't need it for anything anymore. It's so ugly. All the top fell off of it. I don't know why. It's just cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. It's not real leather, you know? If that was like a real leather ottoman, um, none of that top would flake off. It's cheap. I mean, it's imitation leather. So, can you guys see okay? Yeah. I really love this exercise. It's such a stretch. It's a good exercise and it's such a good stretch for your chest and your shoulders. Feels really good especially when you haven't stretched in a while, like I haven't worked out in a while, um, like this. I'm very tight. My muscles are tight, so this feels really good. Uh, yeah. All right. That's good. And, oh. One last thing is the push-up practice one more time, and that's the circuit, guys. So after we're done here, like I said, I'm going to go on my little walk, and then I'm going to come back and finish my circuits. Because I need the full workout. And when I'm not talking to you guys, like I stop and talk to you guys a lot. So this first circuit is kind of slow going, but I do this a lot faster. I'm obviously not talking to the air um, when I'm here by myself. So my, my circuits are, are a lot faster and I get my heart rate up, <sighs> which is an awesome thing to do. Like you, you get the, car, uh, the cardio workout with the muscle workout. It's awesome. It's a nice combination. really went much better than I anticipated. I was really scared. You know, it's been five, six days in between our last, like, um, video, so I really d didn't know how this was going to go, but I'm encouraged. We're okay. We didn't lose too much ground, so I'm getting right back to it. Um, I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow yet. We'll see how I feel, and uh, thank you for being here. So I'm back. Day 12 going to get it done. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you all and I'll see you guys so soon. Bye.